the queues at the Immigration Department at Nyayo House seem to be never ending. As early as 4 a.m., Kenyans desperate to acquire passports make their way to Nyayo House every day. Now, while some succeed in having their biometrics taken, others have to endure multiple trips before achieving success. The prolonged waiting times have led to complaints of missed opportunities for foreign jobs, as well as medical treatment and other important matters that inform the need for travel. Unfortunately, those seeking expedited service have now resorted to bribery in their desperation. Now, despite previous government attempts to address the issue, the problem persists, creating an ongoing cycle. Ben Kirui looks into the situation months after the Interior CS vowed to resolve the matter once and for all. It is 5 a.m. the break of dawn. The gates of Nyayo House remain closed until a quarter to 6 a.m., but the queue of individuals eager for passports swells, stretching longer and longer as the early morning silence gives way to the buzz of the city. Some have been here from as early as 3 a.m. Daniel Olemanga came all the way from Kajero County to have his biometrics taken. <laughs> While it is the first time for Olemanga, some like Boniface Kimutai, have been making frequent trips to the immigration department's headquarters at Nyayo House without luck. I've been here several times, but I've been here for a few days. I've been here for a few days. I've been here for a few days. This is my second day. I've been here for a few days, but I've been here for a few days. 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 The backlog in passport applications is attributed to a surge in demand. According to a statement by Principal Secretary Ambassador Julius Bitok, the Directorate of Immigration Services says it has intensified its operations to process and print passports to address the backlog. The PS further states that the applications are processed on a fast-in, fast-out basis, depending on the availability of specific booklets determined by the number of pages paid for by each applicant. To ease the process of passport printing, Interior CS Professor Kithure Kindiki has announced the plans by the government to open a new passport office in Garissa County. President William Ruto is expected to announce new guidelines on issuance of passports, IDs and other citizenship documents to residents of Northeastern. That will ease the old process that was bureaucratic and inconveniencing residents of Garissa. Mungwa kitujalia baada ya Ramadhan, Mwishmo Rais akuje mwenyewe kutangaza mabadiliko ambayo ni mabadiliko ya utaratibu wa kutumika katika maswala ya kupata vitambulisho katika kaskazini mwa Kenya na pia kufungua ofisi mpya ya pasporti. It is also not worthy that the prices for acquiring passports have increased with charges for new passports rising by about 66% for the 34-page passport, 58% for the 50-page passport and 67% for the 66-page passport. For instance, an ordinary passport with the 34 pages previously priced at 4,500 shillings now cost 7,500 shillings. The 50-page passport has increased to 9,500 shillings from 6,000 shillings, and the passport booklet with 66 pages now requires a payment of 12,500 shillings, up from 7,500 shillings. Last week, the Interior CS had called for more patients on the 23rd of February, saying there was a serious push to conclusively resolve the issue and indicating that there were more booklets meant to arrive in Kenya a week later. Ben Kirui, Citizen TV, Nairobi.